Hello, my name is Joanna Swinton and I'm one of the designers with Crafts U Print. I've been a designer for this uh, website for almost a year now. And if you want to have a look at my designs, you'll be able to see them on craftsuprint.com forward slash Joanna Swinton. I'm going to be introducing the stagger card and this is one of the stagger cards that I've made. This is a shaker card as a w and a wedding card. Um, also, you will be able to see how these shaker cards are put together, whereas Anne Marie has very, very nicely done um, a video on that on episode five. Also, there are baby cards. There's a boy and a girl baby card, and the girl baby card is very different to this one and it is very nice and this one is a little bit different because it's a heart shaped card and that just makes it that little bit unique it's a bride and groom card like a wedding card or you could have it as an anniversary card engagement card or anything like that to make these cards you don't need any real special equipment you just basically need what we normally use for card making and instead of the foam pads you could use silicone glue if you wanted to so today this is the one that we're going to be making I really like this one and um, it's a little bit different than the others insofar as there's a little bit of decoupage inside the card and outside the card but I think it's a lovely design and with this one you will also get a nice little gift tag okay so to start with we need to have our sheets now the numbers at the bottom of the screen for this sheet and this is the sheet that's going to make the topper for the card we'll have a look at this one later but first of all you're going to need this one again the numbers at the bottom of the screen and this is your template and your backing card now I personally prefer to put my card on photographic paper and then later on put it on cardboard and that's exactly what I've done with this piece I put it on card and this time I've used gold card for this one here I use orange card like you can use green card or anything you like it might be a case of the person that you're making it for has a preference now to start off with this card you need to use your scorer to score all the lines across and this big one here and two more down the bottom here there's a blue one and the red one you'll notice all the red ones are mountain folds and the blue ones are valley fold. Down the sides here, from the top mountain fold to the bottom mountain fold, you will need to cut a line. There's a black line showing you where to cut on that side and on this side. And this is to cut your sides out. The next thing to do is to fold it so like I said all the red ones are mountain folds and the blue ones are valley folds so we've got the red ones red one here and here and then a blue one there for a valley fold and a valley fold there too I would also suggest that you go along with a nice bone folder and make definite creases so the card knows what it's supposed to be doing and on the front here and here and that's the, the shape that the card is going to start off as right then after that we're going to cut out the other parts and the first bit I want us to look at is this this is the bottom part of the topper and for this part you'll need to cut out the lady 
and decoupage the lady on top so that the lady will stand out underneath and look better. It's better than it just being flat. And then you're going to need to do this. If you notice on the sheet it tells you to cut this piece out. So you need to cut all that out there and you can either leave it like that if you wanted to or you could put a little bit of acetate underneath I personally think it looks better with the acetate underneath it brings it up a little bit more you'll also need to stick it on a piece of card the same as your card on your backing so I've chosen gold just for a change now you'll notice that there are as well envelopes for this card it is because the card isn't going to fit in a standard envelope because this section here will sit like this and it will need to be an inch or approximately two and a half centimeters and then fit nicely on top You'll also have other sections you'll notice on the sheet for decoupaging. So we'll put the sections on. It's the middle of the red tulip, the yellow tulip or orange, I don't really know. Then there's a tiny little bit of tulip as well. That just goes on there and fits together like that. A little bit of the ribbon and make sure you get this little bit the right way up. I stuck it on the wrong way myself before now. And then you'll have to put your greeting on. Now there's plenty and plenty of greetings in with this sheet lots of different greetings for you I've just chosen to put a, a simple happy birthday on mine and that's it finished you can of course add a little bit of glitter glue because I think glitter glue will do it a lot of justice and most of them will cards do like a little bit of glitter glue the baby cards look absolutely gorgeous with a couple of bows on too and that's it for me this time I'll be back on the 1st of November and by then I'll have been back to the dentist and I'll be able to talk a lot better. So that's it for now. Joanna Swinton. Thank you.